Hey guys, I'm back to do bookcase number five. It's a couple weeks late, but that's because I had to uh, wait on a package from Right Stuff, which I ordered over a month ago. Yeah, they had something on pre-order that I had to uh, get rid of. It was Inside Mari Volume 6. It was supposed to come out February, mid-February, and it got pushed back to like mid-March. But let's begin. Up here we have Shiny Shiny Days, the PC game. It's uh, the sequel to School Days HQ. I did play it. I didn't play it all because there's tons of different endings. And I do have School Days HQ also somewhere. And then a Naruto action figure. Dementia 21, which this is a manga. It's a really big, big version. It's uh, by... Shintaro Kago, I think his first name is Shintaro. And then Psycho Pass, a PS4 limited edition game, because Psycho Pass was an excellent anime. And then behind that, those are just some German uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion volumes. Down here we have DNA Squared, one through four. It is a five volume series, they're all in Japanese because it never came out in English. And then Video Girl I, Volume 1 in Japanese. Video Girl I in English, 1 through 15, complete. It is my favorite rom-com of all time. It's kind of dated, though. It's from 1988 or 1989. But the artwork is still really good and the story's super solid. I recommend it to anybody who's into um, male rom-coms. You won't go wrong with the series. It's got everything. Drama, action, uh suspense romance everything it is technically 13 volumes volume 14 and 15 are a sequel series that kind of flopped it didn't make it so you really only need one through 13 to get the complete i story arc i means love in japanese so it's video girl i video girl love and then ren or len is volume 14 and 15 i forgot what len ren means in japanese next that is um, another series by Masakazu Katsura. Eyes, 1 through 15. This is complete. It's not nearly as good as Video Girl Eye, but it's alright for a um, rom-com, shown in rom-com. The art is still really good, and the covers are very realistic compared to the actual art. Each girl looks very Asian on the cover, like 100% Japanese. Versus the covers of Video Girl Eye. Either way, it's still still a pretty good series. Not nearly as good as his previous work, but every work he does can't be 100% awesome. Zetman's another good series by Masakazu Katsura. A Silent Voice 1 through 7 in the box set. I watched the movie and I really enjoyed the movie. Pretty sure everyone knows what Silent Voice is about. It's about a boy who bullies a uh, deaf girl. I, I After I watched the movie, I decided to get the uh, manga. I haven't read it yet, but I eventually will. H.P. Lovecraft's At the Mountains of Madness. This was an okay adaptation. I don't really care for the art in it, though. It is um, very, very well put together volumes. Like, the paper the paper stock is heavy and, and white, so it'll never yellow. It was, it was a, like I said, decent adaptation. I would love uh, Guillermo del Toro to turn it into a live-action movie, which he was gonna. He's the um, director of Pan's Labyrinth. And uh, No Game, No Life wallet. That's my backup wallet for when my Evangelion wallet craps the bed. Down here, this is my Evangelion shelf. Yeah, Genesis Evangelion, because I've got every series that's ever come out in English. So this is the official manga, volumes 1 through 14. It is complete. Um, it's a pretty solid adaptation. I think it's a little bit better than the anime. It actually has a, a real ending to it, like versus End of Evangelion, where you just kind of got to piece it together. And then Evangelion Angelic Days. This is a shoujo romance. Also, it's, it's decent for a shoujo. The art is kind of whack, though, like doesn't really even resemble Neon Genesis Evangelion, if you ask me. The, it, it, you can tell it's shoujo. 
But nonetheless, this is like, I think my third manga series I started to buy. This was released when I was 14, I think. So it's kind of old. It's by ADV. It's out of print now. But you can still find tons of copies. And then, Neon Genesis Evangelion, the Shinji Ikari Raisin Project. I believe this is an adaptation of the game from the, of the same name. This is... It's not good. I read all the way up to volume 10 and I just stopped because each volume is the same exact thing. The only thing I'll give this series is that it introduces uh, Mana. Where is she? She's on one of these covers. Yeah, Mana. And a couple other new characters. But other than that, it's just, it's just fan service. That's all. Nothing but fan service. I didn't read the ending. I don't know if I ever will. Like I said, I only got to volume 10 and I have not progressed since then. I just got it simply because it's Neon Genesis Evangelion. I'm surprised Dark Horse did not drop this series. They did take a while to finish it, but nonetheless, I'm still surprised they actually did finish it. Next, we have Neon Genesis Evangelion Campus Apocalypse. I actually read all this on my iPhone way back in like 2011 or 12. It was a while ago. Wasn't that good, in my opinion. The art is also... The art's okay. It's it's not... Nobody can have the same art style as Yoshiyuki Sadamoto, the original character designer, and the original manga. They they don't even try to come close, it seems. I think this... Shinji Ikari Raisin Project came the closest to his art style. Then we have Neon Genesis Evangelion Comic Tribute, which is just by... Tons of different artists make little short stories. The Shinji Ikari Detective Diary, Volumes 1 and 2. I believe there's more in Japan. Dark Horse dropped this because like, they drop everything that doesn't sell well. And then the uh, Legend of Pico Pico Middle School Students. Also, another series that was dropped by Dark Horse. We'll never see the end of that. And we have Tony Taka. Takazaki's uh, the Genesis Evangelion tribute. So, just like little shorts by him. So yeah, that's my Evangelion shelf. Then down here we have my hentai collection. Secret Honey of the Moon. A Wish of My Sister. And Love and Hate. These are all by different studios. I think one's by Icarus, one's by Eros, and I forgot what the other one is by. And then my only Project H, because they're usually all censored and I don't buy censored hentai, there's no point. You just read online censored. We have Aqua Bless by Yama Tagawa. And then Boing Boing, also by Yama Tagawa, Tagawa. This one's probably my favorite by him. And then we have Cute Devil Girlfriend, which is, I think, my second favorite hentai manga by Hisasi. Deep Stalker, Deep Stalker, which most of these I'll buy if I think the cover looks interesting. I didn't really think Magical Warriors Chocolate and Pudding was an interesting cover. I got it because it was like eight bucks or something cheap. And then these are my prized possessions right here by Katsuki Miyoto, Slave Rabbit, Dore Usaga to Anthony. I love his art. He has the best art, if you ask me out of any hentai mangaka. And then Virgin Lost Club. Now you're probably wondering why why is well, why is it kind of backwards versus everything else that reads downwards? These are French releases. I took French in high school. Don't remember much of French anymore cuz it's been almost a decade. But yeah, I got these because they're uncensored and uh I can make out some French still. And they're probably never going to get published in English, so they were only 10 bucks each on Amazon. Then we have After School Vanilla, uh, Alluring, Alluring Women, Bashful Break by Homunculus. I've, there are a few artists I have more of one volume, but most, most of these artists I only have just one volume. Carnal Communications, Cherry Gals. Uh, Corden Etranger. I can't pronounce that. Etranger? Etranger? No idea. Ho another homunculus. I've got two from homunculus. And then Darlin' You Drive Me Mad. 
um, the double secret, which, yeah, yeah, says right there. Etchy sketch. Uh, Every Girl Has Her Thorns by another one of my favorites by Hisasi. I love his art. And then we have Fanatic Fanaticism. This, this cover looked pretty interesting, so I went with that. Give me that semen, yeah. There is a hentai OVA out of that one. Grand Hotel Life, A Healthy Appetite, Honeypot Style, Indecent Proposal, and then Intimate Days. I really liked the cover for Intimate Days. I just like the, the thick outlines. The Job of a Service Committee Member. Now, most of my most of my hentai is still sealed and brand new. I I'm basically collecting them. I I won't open them, and the ones that you see opened, I bought used. But the vast majority are are still sealed, and they're gonna stay that way. Kira Kira, let's do it by Sai Tom. Uh, let your smile bloom. Let's see, lickety slit. Uh, then we have lovely. This one is a recent release, I believe, by Faku. Love Me Tender. Love Ridden by Napata. Napata is also one of my favorite artists. Love Style. And then Lust Mix. Going down here, we have Melty Gaze. Melty Lover. Melty Maiden, which is like the thinnest Faku release I've ever seen. It's like pencil thin. And it's also $25. Most of these are all just $20. I'm assuming it's full color, and that's why it's that expensive. I haven't opened it, so I don't know. I won't know because I won't open it. All right. Next, that's my favorite. My favorite hentai manga of all time, at least in English, is Met Metamorphosis. This one is dark. Shindo L. He, his art is amazing. Probably the best hentai mangaka for art if you ask me next to akatsuki miyoto but yeah favorite one right there i read it online that's why it's still sealed here misdirection monster smash pandemonium which is also by napata pandra which i'm hoping we get volume two here in america the polonic girls attack by kome keto he is the artist of spice and wolf manga in case no one knows that. Yeah, it's strange. A hentai manga artist is the artist of that. S and M Ecstasy by Michi King. Um, shoujo material. I wish we would get more of this artist as well. And then special days. I would say this is the most tame, the most tame cover for a hentai release. Literally, there's no nudity, nothing, which. I'm okay with that. And we have Super Dimensional Love Gun by Shintaro Kago. Same artist of Dimension 21. Summer Love Geek Girl. You're All Mine by Napata. So I, I believe I have three Napata releases. Yep. And then boom. So, yeah, three. So he's got the, he's the most next to Yamatagawa. And then Whispers After Class Witchcraft, which is by Yamatagawa. And then Triple X Maiden by Meme 50. I need to get more Meme 50. It's the only release I have by that artist. Next to that, so that's it for the hentai collection. We have Suzuka 1 through 15, my second favorite rom com of all time. I wish we got the last three volumes in English, but unfortunately, Del Rey went out of business. So it's not complete, but as it's as complete as it's going to get. Steins Gate, which I think I went over this in the last video. I had to move some manga around because some Attack on Titan volumes came in. Steins Gate 1 through 3, Variante 1 through 3, I need to get 4. People 2, 1 through 3, that is complete. Then going down here, we have Maria Holic, volumes 1 through 14. The first two are omnibuses, which I'm happy that uh, One Piece Books picked it up. I enjoyed the anime, so I look forward to the manga, even though I heard the ending's bad. It's like there is no ending. Gacha Gacha, The Next Revolution, 1 through 11, so this is complete. Um, I think I left off at volume 7 or 8, I can't remember. 
it was a while ago I was reading this, but it's it's pretty good. It's better than Gacha Gacha, the the first series, which was only five volumes. I didn't even bother. I sold that. It was it wasn't good. No game, no life. Oh yeah, about Gacha Gacha. It's about a guy who I believe every time he sneezes, he turns into a girl. So it's a gender bender, but it, it's pretty. It's a shonen gender bender. And then next to that we have No Game No Life, Volume One of the manga. Volume Two of the manga just came out like last year after five years of nothing. No Game No Life, please. The spinoff series one through four that is complete. There's lots of nudity in this in this one. It's a big parental advisory, I believe. They have it down there. And then, uh, what is the series? Interstellar, Interspecies Reviewers, Volumes 1 through 2. They're pencil thin, too. Uh, the Boy and the Beast, 1 through 4. That is complete. I actually still have to watch the movie before I read the manga. I have not watched the movie yet, but I do own it, so eventually I'll get to it. Your Name, 1 through 3. I just watched the movie, I want to say, 2-3 weeks ago. Such a good movie. I really love Makoto Shinkai. Most of his movies are really depressing, usually, but th this movie was was really good. I mean, I, I like all of his depressing movies, like uh, Voices of a Distant Star. I didn't think it was that good, but The Place Promised in Our Early Days and Five Centimeters Per Second they were they were up there in the top. I give them like nine out of ten. And then we have Your Name, another or Earthbound, another side, one through two that is complete. The Girl Who Leapt Through Time complete. The Garden of Words, complete. These are one-shots. Summer Wars, volumes one and two, complete. And five centimeters per second, complete. So this is basically my uh, Makoto Shinkai and Mamoru Hosoda collection, right, all right here. Down here, we have, this is what I was waiting on. This is what came in the mail from Right Stuff. Slam Dunk, one through 31. So Slam Dunk is finally complete. Can't wait to marathon this. I think I left off at volume 10 like five years ago, but I'm just going to restart it and go all the way through. I don't even like sports manga, but Slam Dunk is that good. Then, it's my new prized possession. We have Kimigure Orange Road. One through six, that is the complete edition. There are 18 volumes in Japan, and these things, these things are heavy. Like, it says premium, premium platinum manga, and... You can definitely feel it. When you pick up this volume, it feels like... It doesn't feel like an omnibus. It feels like a super omnibus. It's so heavy. I'd probably say, ooh, uh, maybe like two, three pounds. They're really heavy, though. All right, so yeah, that's complete. I spent $20, $20 or $25 each on them, I think. It's, it's like 150 something bucks, but well worth it. Down here, we have... Eureka 7, 1 through 6, this is complete. It's by the artists and authors of um, Dead Man Wonderland. And then Hinawa Ga Crush, this is by the author of Akame Ga Kill. This recently came in too. So I do have it with the Akame Ga Kill manga, but I just moved it over here so you guys can see it. I'll move it back right after I finish finish this video. Uh, Naruto Volume 72, Bloody Brat Volumes 1 and 2. To Heart, Volumes 1 through 3, that is complete. The World of Narue, 1 through 3, I believe there's like 15 volumes in Japan or something like that. It got cancelled here in the US because CPM manga went out. Uh, it's not worth anything, so I can't even sell it. Octopus Girl, Volumes 1 through 3, this is also complete and out of print. I believe one or two of these volumes goes for a pretty penny. Helsing, Volume 1, I'm just going to get the Ultimate Editions once they start popping out. There's only going to be three editions that come out. Then we have Blood uh, Blood Plus, Kowloon Knights. I, I think that's a one-shot. It is complete. It was published in a shoujo magazine, as you can tell. And then we have uh, Blood Plus, Adagio, volumes 1 through 2. I believe this is complete, although I'm not 100% sure. The Blood Plus manga was only five volumes, and it was terrible compared, compared to the anime. So I don't have that. I might get it if I could find it cheap. I used to own it, but yeah, it wasn't that good. The only thing that was good about it was the art. Color of Rage... This is a one shot. This is complete. Uh, then we have Ohikoshi. Ohi Ohikoshi. Uh, this is a one shot by the artist of Blade of the Immortal. Gunsmith Cats Omnibus 2. I used to have all the omnibuses. I'd like to get them more, but they're all out of print now, so I probably never will. 
I'll probably either sell this or just keep it here forever. Showman sample, volumes one through three. I really liked the anime, so I decided to pick up the manga. Although, Jesus, you, you really can't buy this at a bookstore because the cashier will, she'll assume you're a pedophile. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, Orange, volumes one through two, complete, plus the after edition, future. Strike Witches, volumes one and two, that's a little, no, that is complete. And then the one shot, uh, the sky that connects us. They all have nudity. And I think that's the only reason I got them. They were only two bucks each. And I was like, well, if I'm going to get Strike Witches, I want them to have fan fan service. Down here, we have Blade of the Mortal, Omnibus 2. I actually thought I bought Omnibus 1. Nope. I have to get Omnibus 1. I'd like to complete Blade of the Mortal because I heard it's really good. And then the Vagabond volumes, which you guys saw in my bookcase, Volume 1. I just had to move things around because I got more manga. All right, and that is it. So, next week I will be doing bookcase number six, which is just anime and hentai, and then some 4K Blu rays. But yeah, stay tuned, guys, and thank you.